narrow gauge engines, Samson at your service. Samson! Samson! What a surprise! Ready to collect the heavy stone for transportation to the mainland. Oh, uh, yes, but uh, we were expecting you to arrive with empty cars, not passenger coaches. You've brought the express coaches, Samson. Proud Samson felt very silly now. Despite telling everyone that he wasn't going to, he had made a mistake after all. Annie and Clarabelle were not used to being express coaches and going too fast. I feel quite giddy. I'm amazed we got here in one piece. Oh, the... Sets of my coaches! Stop! Samson? Samson, where are you going now? Uh, taking these coaches back, sir. Need to take cars instead, sir. Indeed, Samson. You have caused confusion and delay. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to. Made a mistake, sir. We all make mistakes, Samson. But we make more mistakes when we act like we know it all. Yes, sir. I know, sir. Won't let it happen again, sir. At last, Samson collected the empty cars and took them up to the Blue Mountain Quarry. But by the time the cars were loaded up with stone, it was too late to take them to the mainland. And Samson had to spend the night in the quarry again. Fancy bringing Gordon's coaches up the quarry. The stones would have been very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Every stone would have had a seat to itself. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Oh, 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 imagine a stone on a seat. Oh, no. <laughs> Help! Volcano erupted! Uh, call Flynn! Call Bell! Call the Sonor Search and Rescue Centre! <laughs> Silly big engines. Wait, Millie! That way is too dangerous! Millie, the volcano is erupting! That's not a real volcano. It's only a model. <laughs> That's not the volcano. It's just a groundsman's bonfire. <laughs> Tricked you! <laughs> the Earl was not pleased to hear that Millie had played a trick on Harvey and Samson. I'm sorry, sir, but I only did it because they called me a silly little engine. That still doesn't make it all right, Millie. You should know you're not a silly little engine, whatever they say. You're a very clever little engine, Millie. A very clever little engine, indeed. At last, the dinosaur park was open and ready for its first tour. Right this way, sir. Allow me, Dowager Hat. Thank you. Uh, this won't be too much for Mother, will it, Sir Robert? Now, now, don't you worry, Sir Topham. It's perfectly safe. All good fun. <laughs> Billy took Sir Top of Hat and Dowager Hat around on the first tour. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh. oh, look at that one. I say, look at the size of that. That's amazing. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. My word. Extraordinary, isn't it, Mother? They were very surprised to see the volcano smoking like a real volcano. Well, I'll be. Oh, my. <laughs> I like the one with the spiky tail. He's all spiky. How wonderful. I've never seen anything. But they were even more surprised when... <laughs> <laughs> Don't be frightened. It's not a real dinosaur. It's only a model that moves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Millie. We know it's not a real dinosaur, but it can be fun to pretend. Why is Gordon so ungrateful? He doesn't even say thank you when I give him a push. He only says how old and unreliable I am. Maybe it's time we taught that big engine a lesson. <laughs> that night in the sheds, Thomas and the other engines were teasing Gordon about what had happened. And the only reason he stopped was because he saw some red pants. <laughs> Gordon claims to be fast and reliable, but he still needed my help to get over the hill. I didn't really need your help, Edward. You just happened to be there, that's all. I'm very reliable and exceedingly fast. Is that so? <laughs> I'd like to see you go faster than me. <gasps> <laughs> go faster than you? <laughs> Don't be silly, Thomas. That's too easy. Very well. You just try and follow me tomorrow morning. No problem at all. I'll even give you a ten-minute head start. The other engines thought Thomas was being very silly if he thought he could go faster than Gordon. The next morning, Thomas met Gordon at Knapford Station as agreed. Ready, Gordon? You'd better get going, Thomas. I did promise you a ten-minute head start, remember? <laughs> I remember. I do hope you know what you're doing, Thomas. We don't want to look silly. Don't worry. Everything is under control. <laughs> Thomas was out ahead on the main line, but he knew Gordon was going to catch up soon. Thomas, I can see Gordon behind us. He's going to pass us. We'll see about that. Pull onto the other track, Thomas. Express coming through. Oh, no. That's not what we agreed, Gordon. You said you'd follow me across the island. Follow you? But... but... Uh, oh... Can't you go any faster? Thomas could go faster, but he didn't. Oh, Thomas? You're over there. Well, if he's over there, then who is pulling us? Fizzling fireboxes! Wait, Caitlin! Come back! This is the fastest we've ever been! I don't like it at all! I've got my eyes closed! Does it help? No, not really! At last, Caitlin stopped at Wellsworth Station. Thank goodness for that! Hello, Connor. How about a race up to Oakstead Castle? Oh, dear. A race? Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. You're on, Caitlin. No! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Beat 
me, Caitlin. <laughs> we'll see about that. Ooh. I'll never complain about Thomas again. Nor will I. If I ever get Annie and Clarabelle back, I'll never tease them again. Thomas puffed as fast as he could, but before he could get up to Elfstead Castle... Caitlin! Thomas! Annie! Clarabelle! Thomas! Caitlin was already on her way back, heading for the mainland. Thomas had to stop Caitlin before she went over the Vickerstown Bridge to the mainland. Oh, no! I'm too late. I'll never be able to catch up with Caitlin now. Hello, Thomas. Hello! It's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more! <laughs>